So let's practice this a few times. We're gonna stay in the tunnel. Imagine that I'm in a tunnel where if my elbows flare out, I'm gonna have sparks flying between my elbows and the sides of the tunnel. Okay, so this is a good place to teach a beginner how to go into uh, Little Cobra and then eventually work their way into Chaturanga. Hi gang, Denise here and this is Pose of the Week and today we're having an exploration of the arm lines, which are the fascial lines, okay, arm lines. And there's actually four of them. There's uh, superficial and deep from this front span, fingertip to fingertip, and there's a superficial and deep on the back side too, same span right across the back body and into the arms to the fingers. However, it is useful to think of them kind of all together, and the reason we can do that is because of this organization and activation pattern that I teach. So let's get into table pose. Press down into your palms, spread them open wide, and energize like you're dialing your hands away from each other. Okay, so this is a relaxed position, this is an energized position. Okay, if you have elbows that like to hyperextend, you might wanna fan your arms out a little, your fingers out a little bit more to prevent that. But let's make sure that we're activating our hand to our shoulder and just let the elbow be stabilized within that fascial line, okay? So energize is like this will give us all those fascial line activations. Now, let's start to challenge this because I wanna introduce you to the tunnel, which means it's a way of preparing our students for chaturanga to upward facing dog. So notice I'm keeping my elbows in, and you often hear the cue, elbows in, but I don't really have to cue that if I'm energizing with this dialing out uh, energy. So let's practice this a few times. We're gonna stay in the tunnel. Imagine that I'm in a tunnel where if my elbows flare out, I'm gonna have sparks flying between my elbows and the sides of the tunnel. Okay, so this is a good place to teach a beginner how to go into uh, Little Cobra and then eventually work their way into Chaturanga. So I'll give you the next stage. Moving back, from here we can tuck the toes, move back into downward facing dog, staying in the tunnel. Then we can move back into plank. Beginners can bring these down. Little Cobra, I'm still dialing my hands away from each other. This automatically energizes my elbows to stay inward and prevents the shoulder girdle from rising up around my ears. So this is the activation pattern and that is the tunnel. Now let's make ourselves a little bit more challenging tunnel for students who are ready to start trying for Chaturanga. So we're just gonna place a block Fairly close, it doesn't matter. It could be at the pelvis, it could be at the upper legs. It doesn't really matter that much. So from plank pose, we're gonna energize our hands, arms like we're dialing them away from each other. Let the body come to the block. Dial hands away from each other as you lift and then press into the toes, lift through the belly and back into downward facing dog. Okay, so this is a great tunnel for people who are advancing toward chaturanga and up dog. It's a great place for them to practice. And then you can drop the block down a little bit more. Practice the chaturanga with your organization and activation. Lift the heart and bring it back. So they can get the full mechanics practicing this tunnel and eventually not needing the block. So again, practicing hands dialing away from each other to up dog, lifting through the belly, down dog, okay? And it's all because we're tapping into those strong fascial lines which stabilize the elbow and the shoulder onto the trunk of the body. This is very, very important connection to make. And it's all about this, okay? And so useful in uh, so many postures, inversions, as well as downward facing dog and chaturanga. So give that a try. It's really important to experience it in your own body. This is really all about feeling and activating, becoming more sensitive to those connections. 
Okay, and if you want to learn more, I do invite you to check out my movement template course, which is online now. And you can find out more about that at deniseyogaco.com slash MT online. Very easy to find. And of course, I'm easy to find. So please, you know, ask questions, make comments, and I definitely respond, okay? Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.